Hi bestie, welcome to my channel. My name is Nastis Swan, and in this video I will tell you exactly how to become pretty, skinny, and rich. I'm 23 now, but for the past two years, I completely transformed my life from every single angle. And you can look at my pictures two years ago. I looked so much more fit. I was literally ripped, like in my best shape ever, but I was so miserable. I was so anxious, sad, almost depressed, in a wrong relationship. I was so unhappy. My income was like 80% less of what I make right now. I was struggling so much with food. I had an eating disorder. I had an anxiety nonstop. I was constantly torturing my body for some reason. When I look back, I literally ask myself, what the hell were you doing? Like, what was happening with you? Come here, like, let me give you a hug. <laughs> Honestly, it's scary to even think how much my life is better right now. My mind is calm. I am calm. I'm so much more feminine. I know exactly what I want, where I'm going. I don't think I look pretty. I feel pretty and that is so much more important for me. I'm thin and I'm fit and I absolutely freaking love my body for the first time in my life and I literally let my body live. I don't starve myself anymore. I don't follow any diet. When I'm hungry, I eat. I eat whenever I want, whatever I want. I've never been so balanced and so at peace with myself. And I can also confidently say that I'm rich because I live in one of the best neighborhoods in New York City on a billionaire's row and I pay my own apartment and I have so much work now and I not only work as an influencer with some of the best brands in the whole world, but I I also help hundreds of people to become influencers and grow their social media because a few months ago I launched my own company. It's called NS Camp where I coach people privately through Zoom in a small private groups. But I go to sleep every day and I feel fulfilled. I feel that I'm doing what I actually love and that also brings me money. Like what can be better? And I think at this point I would love to tell you how I achieved all those things so you can implement them in your own life. So one question, how did I transform my life? Listen, everything starts from within, okay? One day I was so tired to live the same life life every single day was the same and I was like I don't want to live like that you have to hit the rock bottom in order to go back up and that was my bottom and I had to stop running every single day and doing so many things that were not making me happy I just stopped one day I closed my eyes I started breathing and I asked myself what do you want from your life? You have to understand one thing that in order to completely change your life, you have to take responsibility for every single action that you make, okay? There's no one to blame. Even if someone betrayed you and let you down, it is your responsibility now as a grown adult to go through your feelings and to work through your feelings. Your feelings are only yours. Your traumas are only yours. That is the reality when you grow up, unfortunately. But when you realize that, when you accept that, your life becomes so much easier, I promise. When you wake up and you're like, okay, everything I do today, every single action that I take today, it is my responsibility. When you feel that, when you realize that, it opens your eyes, seriously. And I started asking myself, what are those actions that I should take on a daily basis in order to change my life? How do I wanna live? How do I want to see my life? How do I want to feel on a daily basis? And all these spiritual people that I used to listen to, I'm also guilty, they would tell you like, oh, manifest, like visualize how you wanna see your life, like imagine Imagine you're already driving the Lamborghini and like living in a mansion. Honestly, that doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. If you don't put the work in, if you are not making the action, it's not gonna happen. Like you have to understand that everything starts from changing your childish position and accepting your adult position, which means that now I will do everything it takes in order to change my life. You have to stop running on autopilot. You have to stop. I started doing less things throughout the day, but I would do them consciously. I would do them with a quality. I would put my heart into it rather than I would do so many things in one day, but then like a at the end of the week, I would literally feel like I'm done. Don't talk to me, don't call me, like I can't do content anymore, like I don't wanna see anybody, I'm just in my bed. So what's the point to run this fast to literally feel miserable? And honestly, seriously, when are you gonna understand that there's no benefit from hating yourself and hating your body? That voice in your head that tells you all the time how ugly you are, how fat you are, how you're not enough, why are you listening to that voice? You're literally feeding that voice whenever you listen to it. So stop, you're stuck in your body till the end of your life. What's the point of hating yourself? Like. What's the point of hating it? When you can be like, okay, how can I actually enjoy the hell out of this body and enjoy the hell out of my life? You have to find your own source of motivation from within. If you're motivated to change your life because you want your ex to see, your parents to see, your girlfriends to be jealous, then that's just gonna burn you out because that's not actually a motivation. That is not your true self. You're doing it for someone. But when you close your eyes and you ask your true self, what do I actually want? If all of those people disappear, like what makes me happy in this world? And when you listen to that voice, that's when the 
magic happens. And also, don't expect the answer to come right away. You ask yourself, like, what do I want? Like, who do I want to become? Like, it's not gonna be easy, but you start hearing yourself. But you know what's the secret and how to actually hear yourself? Is to just say, universe, guide me. I trust you. I'm not gonna fight anymore. I'm not gonna do things that don't serve me anymore. Just please show me my way. Show me my true self. Allow me to be or teach me to be my true self. Those are very, like, spiritual things. I don't know if you're religious. I don't know what you believe in. But I truly think that when you connect with your true self, when you allow this life, God or universe, guide you, your life becomes so much more beautiful. Okay, so let's go step by step how to become pretty. I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, shut up. You're gorgeous. Like, what are you talking about? Like, it's so easy to say for you and to be pretty, to stay pretty. Like, look at you and look at me. That's exactly what you're thinking right now. But let me tell you something, okay? My whole life, I would hear in my face every single day, you're so pretty. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. Oh my God, you have such gorgeous hair. Those things would never get to me. I literally would hear those compliments and think that people are making fun of me. I would literally hear those things in a sarcastic way. My mind would hear it like that because I did not think that I am pretty myself and the whole world can tell you how beautiful you are. If you don't believe that you're beautiful, it just doesn't matter. And I started looking and feeling pretty only when I've learned the most important lesson that being pretty literally means to be happy. You can be so pretty on the outside, perfect hair, go to salon every day, do the best makeup, wear luxury brands, luxury bags, but you can be so miserable on the inside and you're not gonna have that energy and that glow which is pretty and some girls they literally don't do anything they don't even brush their hair but they are so beautiful and so pretty and so attractive why because being pretty means to be fulfilled being pretty means to give to this world to genuinely be a giver being pretty means to have a heart that is alive not the broken heart not the heart that was disappointed or hurt being pretty means to be nice to people to people around you to strangers but you can only do that when you're nice to yourself the way you treat yourself is exactly how you treat others when you see mean people they are actually mean to themselves on the inside as well that is a hundred percent fact it's insane to see how much prettier you actually become on the outside without changing your makeup routine without changing your skincare not doing anything but just by working through your mindset and changing your mindset it's unbelievable so i simply started making myself happy how by allowing myself to do things that i always wanted to do not to tell myself oh you have to do this oh you have to do this I don't have to do shit and you don't have to do shit yes of course we have responsibilities okay I'm not talking about the job I'm not talking about like kids and family we all have responsibilities okay I'm not talking about that I'm talking about lying to yourself and prioritizing those things that actually don't make you happy even if you have to go to your work why if you hate your job so much why are you still there you can always quit and start something that you wanted to do oh that's scary oh that doesn't bring as much money as you do right now well that is a risk everything is a risk if you don't risk you don't drink champagne in this life but at least day by day you will be building the life that makes you happy so like a year ago I simply just made myself busy with things that I love to do social media learning languages dancing working out not working out how I used to just every single day the same thing because you have a routine you have to do this you have to follow this plan I started asking myself every day like what kind of workout do you want to do today do I want to lift weights do I want to run do I want to go and walk in a park on the outside with my dog do I want to do Pilates like every single day I would ask myself what makes me happy and after I started doing that I had a huge relief of energy I had so much new energy for projects for work for creating for being feminine and being who I am because your anxiety eats so much of your energy and when you just figure out why you're so anxious you release all that energy and you can use that energy now for something beautiful and something new now let's talk about how to be skinny and I know you're thinking right now girl shut up you are skinny you've always been skinny like you have amazing genetics what are you talking about like you're delusional <laughs> honey I gained almost 20 pounds last year in like three months my self-esteem was destroyed I hated my body literally none of my pants fit and that's the worst feeling ever and this year I almost lost all of this weight without even trying without even paying attention to the scale I just feel comfortable in my own body now I feel my muscles I feel strong and I feel beautiful also I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you oh my god magically I became happy and I lost weight without even trying I mean no I have to watch till today what I eat and I have to go to the gym. I have to work out. I work out religiously. I move and I eat healthy. I don't eat sweets. I don't eat processed food. I watch what I eat 
That doesn't change the fact that you have to put the work in, but that doesn't feel like work anymore. It just feels like self-love. It feels like I'm taking care of myself. That's what I never experienced before. It used to be just torture. Again, it all comes to self-reflection. I ask myself every day, I wake up and I'm like, what do I wanna eat? Do I want an avocado toast with eggs? Or I want like a sweet breakfast? Do I want pancakes? Do I want oatmeal? Like, what do I actually want today? I don't eat the same thing over and over again like I used to because it was fitting my macros. Like, it's just insane. And the reason why so many women cannot lose weight is simply stress. Stress that you put on your body unintentionally and your body is always scared. Your body is always in a survival mode. Your body does not feel safe with you. And when I got a dog, she taught me so many lessons already because when I look at her and I see she's hungry, she's like licking her bowl. I'm like, oh my God, my baby's hungry. I need to feed her. When I'm hungry, I'm like, no, you're not gonna eat. You need to lose a few pounds. You actually better without food. Like it's the same thing. It's the same baby inside of you, but you're doing all those things that are not nice towards yourself. When I see that my dog is bored or sad, I want to give her a hug. I don't yell at her. I don't tell her that she's being a lazy bomb and she should go do something. I just give her a hug and I kiss her. When she runs for the bowl, she's so happy. She's happy for such small things and that teaches me to stay real and to be real and to pay attention to those little moments. And when all of that energy was released, I had so much free time, time to think about new projects and new ideas and work. So I started creating. I became so much more social. I started going out with people, meeting new people. I felt comfortable around them, not anxious. I forgot about social anxiety, honestly. I became more feminine and I became more confident and I started trying new things. That's the most important thing. I started doing things that I've never done before. Like for example, I always wanted to launch my own company, my own coaching program. But if you think that I was not scared and I just did it, then you're delusional. I was so scared, you have no idea. It took me like five months just talking to my people and to my team to start actually moving and doing and selling something to other people. When I launched my project and I started selling my mentorship program, I thought nobody would buy it. But now there's hundreds and hundreds of girls that are waiting to work with me. The only way to know how it's gonna perform is to try it, to do it, to take an action. Like I said, I work with so many amazing girls now, but I see the same pattern is that they all are scared. And some girls are scared, but they still do what they're supposed to do, what they were dreaming to do. So they're testing new ideas, they're testing themselves, they're testing their creativity, and that's the only way. If you think that I was not scared to launch this YouTube channel and speak in English, then you're funny. It took me one year, one year to sit down and record that video, but I still did. You know, it can take you a long time as long as you will take an action and you will do it because you know what I actually am scared of the most is not to try, not to fail. I'm so scared to get older and be like, oh my God, why didn't I do it? Like, that's the only thing I'm afraid of, honestly, because time is something that you cannot get back. So you only have one time to fuck up and to try things. Just think about it. You don't start over on Monday. You don't start over at all. Every day that you live, it's just a one time opportunity. You can live today only one time. And we forget about that. We think that, oh my God, like today's not a good day. I'm gonna start tomorrow. It just doesn't work like that. And when I think about that, that really hits me hard. So answering your question, how to become rich? Well, to start doing things that the average person or people around you are not doing. So if you're doing exactly what everybody else is doing, you're like everybody else. So in order to become more than average, better than other people, more rich than people around you. You have to start doing things that you were not doing before. So for example, me, I started launching digital products. I started selling something. I started improving my own skills and monetizing it. And at the same time, I was focusing on my future and focusing on developing those ideas and bringing them to life. And, and also it's consistency. It's every single day you do the same thing over and over and over and over again. That's exactly why you should monetize things that you actually love doing because if you are monetizing something that you hate to do, you have to do it over and over and over and over again. I can't even imagine that kind of life. I'm sorry. I, for example, started my career when I was 13 years old. I started my first YouTube channel and then I recorded my first YouTube video. It's actually a decade. And I was thinking about it like literally a few days ago. I did not give up even once. I could. People were hating me. I had bad days. Sometimes I literally had no time, no motivation, but I did not stop. I did not stop for once believing in myself and doing things that I actually love. So I hope that answers your question and puts you know my words into perspective but if i did it and i'm honestly still like in the beginning of my career then you can do it too it's not about the outside noise it's about the inner voice listen to yourself trust your gut trust yourself and i promise that your life will improve tremendously i think that that's a beautiful note to end this video and thank you so much for staying till the end of this video i already honestly am so excited to do another video and to talk to you guys again and again thank you so much for following my channel and watching my videos and remember that today is your day. Bye. Boss <laughs>